We have so much to go over in this video. I'm going to be talking to you about the newly launched products from TrueFrog. We have a giveaway and I'm going to be showing you a very cool side-by-side -side between the TrueFrog leave-in conditioner and the TrueFrog newly launched curl cream. I'm starting my wash day routine with the TrueFrog shampoo. This is a very cleansing shampoo. It can be paired with a prepo. All True Frog products are color safe and can be used on colored hair. I'm going to start by applying shampoo to my scalp and then massaging with my fingertips. Just because I'm focusing the shampoo on my scalp does not mean that I'm not washing my lengths. While washing my hair, the shampoo does go down my hair lengths. I also do run my hands down my lengths to make sure that I'm cleaning sufficiently but I'm not over cleaning or stripping my hair strands in any way. Next, I'll be using the True Frog Everyday Conditioner. The conditioner is a moisture product but we do see some protein lower down in the list. This conditioner has incredible slip. It's not too heavy and it's not too light, but it is deeply moisturizing and very well suited to wet detangling. I'll make sure to work in small sections and run my hair under the shower before attempting each new section. This will keep my hair wet and make detangling a breeze. I find finger detangling with this conditioner to be very, very easy. This is how much hair I lost. Very little compared to using a comb to detangle. This is way less compared to the shedding that I used to experience before. And this is exactly why I love this conditioner. Next, I'll squish to condition and then wash the conditioner off. I'll go in with the True Frog hair mask. This hair mask is deeply moisturizing. It is a moisture product but it does contain protein lower down in the list. It's a liquidy formula with incredible slip. I'll apply the mask and then do a two strand twist. Then I'll clip up my hair and leave it on for 10 minutes. Next, I'm showing you a comparison of two styling routines. One is with the True Frog leave-in conditioner and one is with the True Frog's newly launched curl cream. The leave-in conditioner is a moisture product with some protein low down in the list and the curl cream is a protein formula. As you'll see, I'm gonna keep all variables exactly the same, except for the way in which I moisturize my hair. Also, I'll use a little extra curl cream compared to the leave-in conditioner. Next, I'll go in with the hair mousse. It's always best to shake the bottle before use. I'll use one pump per section and then apply it to my hair lengths. Lastly, I'll go in with the newly launched hair gel. I'll use a generous amount per section and apply using praying hands. Then I'll create my curl clumps with a white tooth comb. Taking vertical sections, I'll shake and release and then scrunch. I'm doing a half up, half down styling routine today. So for my top sections, I'm gonna be applying the products and creating my curl clumps in an upside down position. This is a little easier on my back compared to upside down styling. I'll scrunch my hair in all directions, making sure that all of my hair is directed away from my head and nothing is sticking to my scalp. Next, I'll plop. I'll air dry halfway and diffuse halfway. My hair is dry now. As you can see, the gel gave me a very decent cast. Next, I'll scrunch out the crunch and fluff out my roots. So now let's compare the results. I see very decent moisturization on both sides. I feel like the leave-in conditioner gave me a little more moisturization compared to the curl cream. I see a little more elongation on the leave-in conditioner side and I see a little more coiling and shrinkage happening on the curl cream side. I'm going to attribute this to the arginine in the curl cream. It is placed right up there in the top five 
and so I did see this coming. I was expecting way more shrinkage on the curl cream side. Notice that my hair looks a little longer on the leave-in conditioner side and a little fluffier on the curl cream side. I also see a lot more definition on the curl cream side. On day one, I didn't see a lot of difference in volume. I'll admit that there was a tiny difference. I had a little more volume on the curl cream side, but the real difference I think I saw 5-6 to six hours post SOTCing on day one and of course on day two. The curl cream side had way more definition and lots and lots and lots of volume. This is when I saw the real difference. My hair kept getting bigger and fuller. I couldn't film it because I was tired and exhausted. I wasn't in any state to set up again and film and also that would be too much to fit into one video and so I do plan to demonstrate these differences in future videos. Let me know if you spot any differences in the footage that I've put up. Let me talk to you about my opinions about the two newly launched products. First, let's start with the curl cream. This curl cream is very thick, it is very creamy, it is very moisturizing. And of course, this is a protein product. It has arginine in it. I'll talk to you about that a little later. Who is going to like this product? If you prefer products that are thick, that are creamy, that are extra moisturizing, then I feel like this product is going to be a good fit for you. It gave me really nice gloss. It gave me really nice moisture. It also gave me really nice definition and shrinkage. In my front sections, I definitely used a little extra because these front pieces definitely need a little more moisturization than the rest of my hair. And generally with curl creams, you'll notice that sometimes when you use a little bit extra, the product can pill and bunch and you'll need to comb through a few extra times. I didn't notice that about this product. The curl defining cream is a protein product. We see arginine in the top five ingredients. Arginine is a small protein and it suits quite a few hair types. The curl defining cream also contains Astrocarium vulgare kernel oil, shea butter ethyl esters, aloe vera extract, fermented rice extract, marshmallow extract and ethyl hexyl glycerin. Next, I want to talk about the gel. I don't feel like this is a medium hole gel and I don't feel like this is a strong hole gel. I feel like it's somewhere in the middle. It is thick, it is viscous, way more viscous and way thicker than the other medium hole gels that you'll find in the market. And so I wouldn't exactly call this medium hold and I wouldn't exactly call this strong hold either. I do feel like some hair types are going to be able to use this gel as a one and done product because not only is it giving you hold, it's also giving you a little bit of moisture. The True Frog Styling Gel for Curls is a moisture product. This gel is in between medium and strong hold. In my opinion, it's a little on the medium side. The gel contains flaxseed extract, rice extract, polyquaternium 69, polyquaternium 10, panthenol and hydrolyzed jojoba ester. Next, let's talk about the giveaway. A very big thank you to True Frog for sponsoring this giveaway for us. There are going to be three winners. Each winner gets to choose three products amongst the products shown in the picture. So if you win, you get to choose between the shampoo, the conditioner, which is my favorite, the very, very moisturizing hair mask, the True Frog leave-in conditioner and the hair mousse. Out of all of these products, you can pick any three. To enter the giveaway, subscribe to this channel, hit the like button and leave me a comment down below. 10 minutes after this video goes live, I'm going to be uploading a reel on Instagram. Hit the like button there and leave exactly the same comment under the reel. And while you're on Instagram, make sure you're following True Frog as well and shower them with your support and love. Also, one more announcement. The brand has upped my discount code from 10% and now made it 20%. So basically, now you can get a 20% discount across all items on the True Frog website when you use code Michelle. If you're looking for more information, you're curious about the other products that I used in my lineup today, then check out this video. You'll find a full wavy curly hair routine without gel. You'll find a lot of information on ingredients. So what you're waiting for? Check it out.